or welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Come join me. I know I have to do some acrobatics to get the camera working. All right, Scorpio, we're going to do your reading today. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm getting kind of bored with love and career and finance. So I decided to do some life lessons, life purpose readings. And let me tell you, they've been a little intense, just a little bit. So we'll see what we got going on for you. Let me light some sage because yeah, you guys really need to check out Gemini and Leo's reading. Like I'm literally calling the cards out before they come out the deck. And I don't pull cards. I let them fly out. I take flyers only. So there's, and you see me shuffle on camera. So there's no way, like it's crazy. It's really crazy. But yeah, I invite you guys to go watch those videos if you want to see my, my psychic abilities. I can't even believe it. Like, I literally shuffled the cards, and I'm like, the tower card is going to definitely show up, and that mug popped right out. It was the only card that popped out. Like, I'm so impressed with my guides right now and my spirit team. Like, you don't even know. All right, so um, what I have here, if you guys are looking at how small this deck is, this is the Dream of Tarot. Look, the Tree of Life again at the bottom of the deck. So for Cancer, this came out at the bottom of the deck, and for Gemini, this came out in their reading. So yeah, if you guys want to check back with those, you guys might have placements in Cancer or Gemini, go look at those. But um, this is the only tarot deck that has this card in it, so it's a, kind of a special card. But I only have, I got the Tarot of Dreams, I only have the Major Arcana in here, the Four Aces, and then the Four Palace cards if you're familiar with this deck. So, and then the Tree of Life. So there's like, uh, like 30 cards here, I think. So we got four aces, so it's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30. So 30, yeah, 30 cards in here. I'm going to use these as your major theme for what's going on as a life lesson or your life purpose. I'm going to clarify with my Osho deck right here, which I've shuffled like 80 times already. Oh, getting old sucks. <laughs> it's a lesson and a curse. So if you guys see me referencing back to my Osho book, it's because these cards in here don't have the actual tarot names on them. So for the major arcanas, I kind of got to go look back. I need to learn my numbers, but I'm still learning. So I'm not ashamed to say that. I did misspeak on a couple of those cards. Um, I corrected myself when I realized it, but in one video I didn't. I wasn't able to correct myself. So I'm sure that doesn't change the integrity of the reading that much. Everything happens for a reason, I think. But I am going to use... Um, the regular, regular deck to clarify with you guys too. So don't worry, we'll get clarification. All right. So we got the Empress, the Sun, the Strength, and the High Priestess. Damn, Scorpio. Somebody's very psychic here. You got the Sun, you got the um, Strength, and you got the High Priestess. Somebody is very intuitive or is a psychic. Like they have a very strong gift. That's what I'm getting with these cards. Ooh. All right. I have Scorpio as my rising sign. Oh, I didn't show you guys. So if you have Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this could resonate for you. Alright, show me what I need to see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Spirit Guides, the Devil, and Ancestors. Thank you. So we got the Eight of Wands. Somebody could be traveling. We got the Queen of Cups. Also intuitive. The Queen of Cups is the intuitive queen of the deck. And then we have um, friendliness, two of uh, cups. Hmm. So 
yeah, this is going to be about love for you, Scorpio. Why am I not surprised? I'm going to use my um, sexual magic tarot deck to help clarify some of these themes here. I feel like I'm not. I feel like uh, traveling might be a big theme in your life. Like this might be a part of your life purpose. Uh, meeting a lot of different people and sharing your gift with them. That's what I'm getting here. And also receiving their energy. Like that's what this card is for me right here. Like this is going to help develop your gift. This is the only reading that I've had like this Scorpio talking about an actual life purpose everybody else has been getting mostly life lessons but this is actually about your life purpose i also feel like while you're traveling and using your gift you're going to meet a soulmate maybe somebody just like you show me the empress seven of swords hmm Somebody might be lying to you about something. Or you feel like you've been lied to in your life. Maybe about your gift and your abilities. Where the hell is this coming from? Oh, I feel it in my stomach. It's like a pit. You know how you get that sickness in your stomach like when you're just disgusted by something? Show me the sun. Ten of Wands. Somebody doesn't want you to use this gift. Like, I feel like somebody has been trying to weigh you down. This is the wrong, I'm not good yet. Yeah, no, they said no more of this. Wrong deck. See, I was thinking Scorpio, sexual, whatever, you use the sexual. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's not this. That's not this. And I saw the two of cups, so I was like, oh, maybe it's about love. You know, Scorpio is supposed to be the sexual sign of the zodiac, but this is a life purpose reading. I'm not using that no more. Show me the strength card. The Wheel of Fortune. This is divine time and destiny. You've been strong long enough, Scorpio. It's time for you to do what you came here to do, your life purpose. I swear to God, I have not got a life purpose reading for nobody, and I'm, I'm almost done. I got Pisces and Libra left. You, Pisces and Libra, that's it. I have gotten the High Priestess, the Magician, and the Empress a lot, and the Strength card, not the Sun card, though. Somebody was trying to block you from doing this. Somebody was being very deceptive, like they knew the whole time that this is your life purpose. I'm sick to my fucking stomach. You got the high priestess. Tell me I'm lying. The high priestess clarified the high priestess. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me. 333 three, three on the clock. Oh no, it's 833, three, my bad. <laughs> wow. I'm sick to my stomach, literally. Like somebody really was trying to stop your destiny here. What the fuck? Like you're very psychic. And you got the seven of swords. Somebody did not want you to know this. Somebody was trying to deceive you because you're the empress. You're meant to do something great here. You could have um, cancer in your chart too, Scorpio somewhere or another water placement Pisces too wow I think the queen of cups is Pisces it could be cancer or Pisces but oh my god I'm sick to my stomach literally for real like this is crazy yeah this is gonna this is causing some shit this is stirring up something somebody did not want somebody was fighting for you not to realize your gift or your potential here the Queen of Wands. You're the Empress. You have all the Queens. I wouldn't be surprised if they all came out. You got the Queen of Cups already. The Queen of Wands. Wow. 
But the will of destiny or the will of fortune is turning in your favor. Like nobody can stop this. I also feel like you're supposed to come together with somebody that's going to help you with this gift too. You got the two of cups. Or that could be just you coming into alignment. But somebody did not want you to. The king of cups or the knight of cups. Mm -mm. You could have the twin flame uh, purpose. And the purpose of the twin flames is for them to come together to help raise the vibration of love. Love is the highest vibration on the planet. That could be your purpose. Oh my God, this is so crazy. I have not, I swear to God, I have not felt this on anybody else's reading. And I've seen the high priestess. I've seen the empress. I've seen the strength card. Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands. All these cards have come out. But not like this. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God. Somebody was trying to stop this from birth. They did not want you to know about this gift. You got power. The Queen of Wands is the Witch of the Tarot too. See her with the black cat? And her wand, who carries a wand? The Witch. Or a broom, either one. <laughs> They're both for the witch. But you got the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Somebody was trying to bury this down. And this is clarifying the sun. They didn't want you to see how beautiful you were, how much of a gift that you had. Oh my God. They were trying to confuse you with the Seven of Cups. Trying to confuse you, trying to cause, keep conflict in your life. Because the whole time they were blind and being deceptive about what you have to offer. This is some shady shit. Temperance card. Yeah, they were trying to keep you trapped, locked up. They were trying to keep your gifts trapped and locked up. But it's all out now. You were strong. You persevered through a lot of shit, Scorpio. Whoever I'm reading for, you are you have a higher purpose. I don't... You got the page of cups over here. Like, somebody knew this since you were a kid. But you were made to forget somehow. The temperance card is here. Now you're like learning how to use your gift. Show me the page of cups, Ace of Wands. You're being given new inspiration on this. You're being inspired to go after your abilities, to use your abilities. And you might start traveling and using these abilities and you might meet somebody that you are meant to meet that's gonna help strengthen your both of you guys' abilities. Wow. Oh, nobody's going to want to have nothing to do with you after this. Not, I don't mean like nobody. I mean like whoever was trying to suppress your gifts, they're not there. This is causing a lot. This is going to cause a lot of drama and they're not going to fuck with you like that no more. Because they know they were trying to keep you in confusion and you might have felt like you were outcast. Like your whole life, you might have been like confused, like why am I so different than everybody else? And they might have treated you like an outsider. They calling me an alien, a big headed astronaut. That's that Kanye West and Katy Perry. E.T. Show me the temperance. Okay, wait. No, show me the Bible. Just show me what I need to see. I don't know. Yeah. You, you were stuck for a long time trying to figure out why you were different and why you were like the black sheep of your family. Oh, but now it's clear. Ace of Swords. It's clear now. It's clear. Things are as they should be. You got the green light from the universe. 
Somebody is stepping in here. That's, oh my God, my heart. Somebody is stepping in here, like some, some one of your ancestors' spirit. Somebody is stepping in here, and they're trying to let you know, like, this is what you're supposed to be doing with your life, using your gift. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Page of Pentacles. You might have tried to help people with your gift when you were younger. Somebody might have tried to use your gift for money when you were younger. But it was not, it was kept hidden from you. And you've been struggling with this, trying to figure this out. You got the two of pentacles and the ace, the two of swords. You've been in the dark trying to figure this out, trying to see how this adds, making it, trying to make it make sense. Why am I different? You are confused. This is crazy. The hangman. You were stuck for a long time. Sacrificing yourself. Putting yourself out there. Not even realizing the gift that you had and how powerful it was. And it still ain't at its peak because the two of cups up here is telling me that you have to meet somebody. There's somebody you're supposed to meet that's going to help bring out your gift even more. Like y'all are gonna help each other bring out your gifts. And you're probably gonna meet this person while you're traveling. You got a lot of traveling coming up. Oh God, you probably been dissatisfied in love because you didn't know yourself. These people are probably gonna try to come back and offer you something. And you might've also been denying this gift. Like you might've seen signs of it, but, they, but whoever, tried to stop this had you so confused in your mind that you wouldn't even acknowledge the signs that you were getting from the universe you knew you had this gift this whole time you knew you had it but it was suppressed and you wouldn't even believe it even though you've seen it with your own eyes you might have wondered sometimes like how do i know this shit and that just had you in a state of juggling and confusion. You got the high priestess twice clarifying itself. Whew, okay. Um, um, Moonology. They're telling me to use the Moonology. And the angel answers. And the romance angels. Give me three. Okay. Okay, they set forth, I guess. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Oh. Emotions are running high. That's what this fighting is over here. Like people are starting to realize this gift and they starting to get worried. Somebody worried about something being exposed. A new romantic cycle begins. What did I say? This too, when you start traveling, when you go somewhere, or you might travel with this person, but like one, I don't know what it is. Like you're gonna, this person is gonna bring it out in you and you're gonna bring it out in them. Like this could be your twin flame. And communication is key. So um, not suppressing your gift anymore. Using it, talking about it, letting it be known acknowledging it that's what i'm getting oh my god i'm about, oh this got me sick to my stomach because this is trifling as fuck like why wouldn't somebody want you to realize your ability show me what i need to see spirit guys benevolent ancestors this is not for everybody this reading is not for everybody. I'm sorry, Scorpio. This reading is not for everybody. I don't know who exactly it is for, but it's not for everybody. Choose a new direction. Ooh. Be assertive. Be assertive. That's what I just got to saying. Use it. There's something better. 
and compromise. Now these got me confused. So choose a new direction is over here with the um, two of pentacles and the two of swords. So it's like you need to be assertive and you need to choose. Like, are you going to sit still and not do anything about your gift or are you going to use it? And there's something better. That, that's right over here above the four of cups. Like the universe has been trying to tell you like, you don't have to settle for what you're going through right now. Like you can get better. Oh my back. It's like paralyzing up right now. Like you know how you get a Charlie horse? That's what my back is feeling like. Somebody do not want me saying this. Like I feel like something's like pulling tight around me. Oh, somebody could have tried to put a spell on you so you wouldn't realize your gift. They bound you. That's what that Eight of Swords was. Somebody bound you so you wouldn't use your gift. With food? What? Okay. And compromise. I'm getting somebody bribed you with food. Um, look, I can't do this for you no more. Um, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Um, look some more into this situation if you can. Maybe look at some other tarot readers and see what they got going on with you guys. If you find a life purpose reading or if you feel like this really resonated with you, you can hit me up for a private reading. I don't know who this resonated for, but um, yeah. Like, comment down below if you want to share your story, um, 2211. And subscribe to the channel. Um, but yeah, this, I can't. Thank you so much.